This story happened in Forney, Texas, and this has been all over the news, but we want to talk about it here on The Fowler Show. Um, police officers in Forney, Texas uh, made the unforgivable mistake by pulling over a woman and her four children um, early this past August, handcuffing her and holding her family at gunpoint until they realized they had pulled over the wrong person. The police were reportedly looking for a beige or tan Toyota. Um, as, as someone had called in the report that there was four men in a car, one of whom was waving a gun out the window. Miss um, Barber, who was the lady who was basically taken into custody, the woman who was stopped, was, drew, drove a red Nissan and she was pulled over. The Forney police acknowledged that they, you know, that there was a firearm involved and, you know, they basically said that we made a mistake of pulling you over. But the videos from this thing, and the videos are below in the comment section if you watch this on YouTube, are shocking and heartbreaking, right? Because instead of the police asking questions, right, you go up, it's fine if you want to have your gun drawn or whatever, but, you know, you go up and you say, hi, you know, we're looking for this vehicle. Clearly her car didn't match. She, her car was not as a beige or tan. Her car is a red Nissan. Big difference. But, you know, whatever. I digress. You know, maybe cop, maybe police officers would be colorblind. Clearly they're not colorblind, but that's another story for another day. Um, but then to arrest her when she was not a male, you realize there weren't four males in the vehicle, and you didn't see anybody waving a gun out the window. Right? This is another example of police, once again, using too much force. They basically, and there's four children in the back, and part of the video that blew my mind when watching it was the, um, the young man, the little boy, six years old, who was crying his eyes out with his hands up. And I thought to myself for that one second as I watched this video, this young black man is six, right? And he's seen blatant and ridiculous police force. So the question now we ask ourselves is, Will this young man ever trust the police department? Right? Like, will he ever trust police officers are there for his good? You ask yourself that question. And the answer you probably are coming up with yourself is you, and the fact that you're thinking about it shows that we have a problem in this country. But the truth of the matter is, is that he probably won't. And he'll probably always feel an adversarial relationship between himself and the police officers. Now, yes, this lady was pulled over indecently, and yes, they used too much force, but I really want to focus on her son, that six-year-old in the video. Because he sort of speaks to where we're going as a nation when it comes to the relationship between community to communities and police departments. Because if he's indeed three or four or five years from now to trust the police, and if he's indeed three or four or five years ago not to act weird or to be funny or to run when he sees the police department pull up, right, it, it, you know, it, it, with what happened to him and his mother in this particular instance, do you think that's going to happen? No. He's always going to see the police department as, an adversar as adversarial. He's always going to feel some mistrust for the, for, the, for the police department. And that young man is just one of millions of young black men out there who have a huge problem or have a huge disdain or a huge whatever you want to call it with the police department. I don't want to spend all day attacking the police because that's, that's not what the point is here. The point is, is how do we move forward on this? How do we make sure this doesn't happen again? And it happens by coming up with better mechanisms of community policing. Right? It also comes up with ending this trigger happy attitude that exists in the police departments. Because the police officers at Forney, Texas should have known when they pulled the city over and realized there was a woman, four kids in the background, there's probably a good chance she wasn't waving a gun out the window. Probability tells you, common sense tells you that that's possible. That, 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 that just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up. Right? But we're still back in the same situation we were three weeks ago or four weeks ago or yesterday or the day before the last time a police officer made the mistake of profiling an African American just because they heard something over their radio. We could do better, y'all. We've got to do better. If we want to turn this country around, America, we have got to do better.